A short presentation of the progress report of the Office of the Welfare, courtesy of His Excellency Engineer Chief David Omahe and Her Excellency Chief Mrs. Rachel Omahe from May 29, 2016 to October 1, 2017. The summary of this religious and welfare office so designed by His Excellency can be grouped into four sections. They are Attention to the fiscally challenged Care of the widows Payment of discharged patients who we are unable to pay their hospital bills and assistance to the ministers of God in their mission and apostolates. Join us in this journey of good works of His Excellency as we unfold the above themes. In the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 4, let each of you look not only for his own interest but also the interest of others. This is a true reflection of the character of the Governor of Ebony State, His Excellency Engineer Chief David Mweze Omahe, FNSE, who on assumption of office, took the welfare of his people seriously. In addition to his notable achievements in the areas of infrastructure, such as construction of flyover bridges, urban renewal among others, inculcated the welfare of people into his agenda. Engineer David Mweze Omahe's desire to improve the welfare of all segments of people in the state culminated in the establishment of Office of Religion and Welfare Matters, headed by a renowned Catholic clergy and judicial vicar of the Catholic Diocese of Abakaliki, very Reverend Father Dr. Abraham Wale. <laughs> Now, I can no longer see. Now, he gave Jafaya, Barando and Ineba Christmas, Maki Bunya Harais. Now, he gave Jafaya, Funandoya neighbor who on spot, Nine year five thousand Kahala, and Yako Gondoya who doom. Hello, the office of the senior special advisor to the governor of a point state on welfare and religious matters embarked on visits to hospitals across the state. The office has the mandate to cater for the welfare of a people, especially indigent ones who could not pay for their hospital bills. To the chagrin of the office, over 1,000 indigent patients were discovered to be held hostage in various hospitals because of their inability to offset their hospital bills. It is pathetic to note that most of the patients had remained in the hospitals for over six months upon discharge without hope of getting assistance. The welfare office has attended to the needs of indigent patients in Federal Teaching Hospital, Feta 1 and Feta 2 at Bagaliki, My 4 Hospital at Bagaliki, Presbyterian Joint Hospital Ubro, Matamis Rokodia Hospital Afipo, St. Vincent Hospital Ondobia, among others. Okay, thank you, Christiana. Uh, oh, no, mercy. Father, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Walk for John. Paul Ungozi. Sir. Over a thousand patients have been attended to in those hospitals and over 280 patients have received eye treatments. 110 eye patients receive treatment weekly at my four hospital. Over 400 million naira has been spent medically attending to the sick in these hospitals. Just recently, the office visited hospitals and paid hospital bills of indigent patients. In addition, each of the discharged patients smiled home with 5,000 naira and two bags of rice. At Federal Teaching Hospital Abakaliki, the senior special advisor to the Governor on Religion and Welfare Matters, Very Reverend Father Dr. Abraham Wale, told the patients 
that governor of Ebony State is genuinely committed to improving the welfare of the people. He said the gesture is not limited to Ebony indigents alone, but to any patient in any of the hospitals in Ebony State. The head of welfare department in the hospital, Mrs. Soruchi Otto, was impressed with the visit and applauded the Bonny State Governor for coming to the aid of the patients whom she said had lost hope of getting help. The beneficiaries of the gesture could not hide their feelings as they sang praises to God for using the Governor of Ebony State, Engineer David Mweze Omahi, to come to their aid. The story was the same at St. Vincent Hospital on Dubia when the senior special advisor and his team extended the largesse of the state government to them. The patients, most of whom had lost hope, received the team with joy in realization that help has finally come. Very Reverend Father Dr. Abraham Wale delivered the message of the governor. I did present the check to that mean, Father Dom. Patients, after receiving the package, reacted this way. Some of the patients have been referred to other hospitals, including Orthopedic Enugu and UNTH Itukozala. These are those with life-threatening ailments like cancer, post tumor, and other health challenges. In a bid to save lives, the Boyin State Welfare Office has made extra effort by referring life-threatening elements to India, London, and Germany. Apart from paying hospital bills of indigent patients, Governor Umahi approved payment of 10,000 naira each for about 112 legionaries, veterans, retired soldiers, and other senior citizens who sacrificed their pleasure and comfort to save the lives and property of others. Also, the Welfare Office has championed the welfare of physically challenged persons. Over 87 of them are placed on monthly stipends. Others, like deaf, dumb, cripple and blind receive attention on a regular basis. For instance, from May 29, 2015 to May 29, 2016, the office expended 240 million naira. The office of Her Excellency, the wife of a Bonny State Governor, Chief Mrs. Rachel Ogonaumahe, has complimented the efforts of the Welfare Office through her numerous programs using the Family Soccer and Upliftment Foundation as a platform to provide soccer. In conjunction with the Office of Her Excellency, the Welfare Office, with the approval of the governor, organized over 286 widows for monthly prayers for the state and our dear people. However, monthly stipends of 10,000 naira each is also approved for them. <laughs> In 
in obedience to the biblical injunction in Matthew 22, verse 20, which says, Go out in the world and proclaim the good news. Governor Omahi, through the welfare office, has reinvigorated the school evangelism for the moral rearmament of pupils and students. Moral instructors were trained and sent to schools across the state to inculcate good moral values into Ebony pupils and students. Conclusion Striking enough, but for grace, the weekly ophthalmological attention remains a saving grace of the reduction of the number of people with poor sight so far so good. Up to 10,100 patients with over 4,000 eye patients operated upon. To God be the glory. Chigabo. Chigabo.